Yasa Jam on a burger. Um, I really wanted to kind of focus in on a classic traditional uh, uh, chicken Yasa uh, uh, meal where you might see in Senegal um, and, and parts of West Africa, but really kind of take that onion kind of part of the Yasa Jam, which is just made of uh, uh, Dijon and caramelized onions and ginger and yeah. roasted garlic um, and turmeric and coriander, a little bit of lemon juice and um, uh, vinegar to kind of brighten it up. Um, and we made that into a nice little jam to, uh, to kind of put on a burger right here. So I actually have that going right now. I have some caramelized onions wow. that I'm just going to kind of whip up a little bit, kind of get them back to life that I had over here. And then in addition to that, Rachel, we're gonna go ahead and start to add in all those uh, ingredients that we mentioned. So we have a little bit of roasted garlic puree that we're gonna add in there. You know, I tell butter. people all the time, if, if they think they don't like garlic, they're wrong. They just, it, you know, <laughs> it's, 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 it's too bitter for them or they're cooking at the wrong temperature, but roasted garlic yes. is the way to go. And you can roast a ton and keep the paste in the freezer or the fridge for ages. Oh my gosh, it yes, everything. and it holds so well. Yeah. Absolutely, and it holds yeah. so well, which is a really, really good call. So having this, I mean, I try to um, do my best and kind of make like a huge batch ahead of time. And kind of like you mentioned, this is exactly what I did. I got some out of the freezer, let it thaw out for a little bit and it's right on time, it's perfect. So we added our turmeric, we added in our coriander, which is gonna give it that beautiful bright pop. And then at this point, we're gonna go ahead and add in our lemon juice, a little bit of vinegar as well, just to kind of bring a little bit of that acidity out. And that's gonna create that beautiful jam that we have here, you can see, which I absolutely love. Super, super vibrant, a lot of herbaceous notes from the thyme, and you create that beautiful kind of umami, umptious jam that we have. I'm gonna go ahead and put that to the side for now. And I wanna focus in on our burger itself. We have our 80-20 beef right here. Beautiful. Good amount of fat, good amount of leaf, yep. And we're gonna add in our spices. We have some fresh rosemary, fresh thyme that we'll add in there. A little bit of salt, garlic powder. And then when we mix all of that in, once we have that together, I'm gonna to go ahead, get my cast iron back. I mean, I do anywhere between four and six ounces on the patty, depending how hungry I am. I mean, really, I'm just gonna <laughs> land it right there. You hear that beautiful sizzle. And what I like to do, Rachel, is I like to kind of let it sit for a little bit before I actually smash into it. I think when you smash that burger, you kind of round it like that. You get those nice, nice. beautiful, crispy edges, right? Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. I love those nibbly bits on the edge. <laughs> so really quickly, we'll just go ahead, let that burger cook. You can kind of see those crispy edges kind of going. So we're going to go ahead and start to build our burger. It looks like we're at a perfect medium rare. I'm going to go ahead and just take that off and allow that to rush just a little bit as we build. I have my toasted bun here, a little bit of a garlic aioli. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my burger now. Kind of land it right there. Oh, look at that. And then we bring out that beautiful jam that we had earlier, guys. And we're just gonna allow that to kind of just sit nice and beautifully oh. right Ooh. on that burger, like so, like so. So nice, oh and don't God, be bashful either. You're gonna get it there. Lay that top right there, oh. right here. Oh my goodness. That oh is it. my goodness. That is it. <laughs> <laughs> I have um, some potatoes that we roasted off a little bit earlier that we'll mention right here. And I kind of just uh, glazed it with a little bit of warm honey and some Burberry spice. Burberry is a beautiful spice that comes from East Africa. Um, and that smokiness paired with that honey I love on top Burberry. of this burger. I use it it's often. Absolutely. I use it in any it's so, so good. Yep. Yes, I love it. Yes, yes, I love yes. It. yes. 